This is the moment a virus infiltrates and destroys cancer cells. The virus gets inside and it replicates and it kind of blows up like a balloon. Professor Shaffron discovered a strain of the common cold virus that kills melanoma, liver and prostate cancer cells when given in combination with another immunotherapy. The body uh, has a defence mechanism against viruses uh, and we're trying to leverage that. He sold his discovery for half a billion dollars to US pharmaceutical giant Merck, which will ultimately deliver it to patients. He set up a new company, Imverix, which is targeting another suite of cancers with virus cells. While it's still early days, the team of scientists here in Newcastle hope to be in clinical trials within the next two years and soon after that helping to treat patients around the world with ovarian, colorectal and liver cancer. The country's most successful medicine developer is CSL, which today reported a jump in half-year profit of $1.8 billion. CSL's share price has almost doubled over the past 12 months to about $330. It's on the verge of becoming the biggest company on the stock exchange. There's a lot of great science in Australia. We just have to harness that and really bring it to translational medicine. The value of the entire healthcare sector has grown by 57% in the past 12 months and with an ageing population, many believe its importance will only increase. Australia's got a very strong university sector. There's good product development here, good research, good clinical trials and it's not surprising that we see some of these companies really becoming bigger and more important uh, across the globe. Which could mean Australia's biotech boom is just getting started. Rachel Papazzoni, ABC News.